Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us on Radio Television of Burkina Faso for Headlines, your weekly news session program. President of Faso, Rockmar Christian Kabore, made a trip to Ivory Coast to take part to the West African Economic and Monetary Union Waimu High Level Conference. The head of state and government of Waimu reviewed on Friday the state of the union in terms of political and economic security. Economic integration is currently being implemented with a growth of 6.6% in 2018, according to Alassane Ouattara, president of Ivory Coast and current chairperson of the head of state and government conference. Some of the countries of Waimu are facing many security challenges. Rokma Christian Kabore called this peer to a sacred union. He called them to stand against terrorism hydra. At this 21st session of the conference of the head of state and government of Waimu, the participants have declared their will to implement ECOWAS new currency called ECO. Hand of training for 60 servicemen, 60 soldiers of the 31st RIC, the Commando Infantry Regiment of the 3rd Military Region of Burkina Faso, took part to an advanced training in counterterrorism techniques at Camp Bilazagre. This training is part of the military cooperation between the USA and Burkina Faso. The soldiers learned from the U.S. instructors several modules, including the fight against IEDs, the improvised explosive devices, and the response to an ambush. They have demonstrated a bit of what they have learned. The ambassador of the United States of America to Burkina Faso, Henry Young, was at the first row of the guest. Let us listen to him about the military cooperation between the U.S. and Burkina Faso. I am very impressed with the, the capabilities of the Burkina Faso security forces we saw today. I can tell you that their partners, the U.S. Uh, trainers, told me and shared with me many anecdotes of how impressed they were with the capacity and the engagement and the attention that the Burkinabe trainees had in this, in this um, effort. And that, I think, gives us great hope and, and encouragement for the challenges before us, that we share these, expert, these uh, levels of expertise and together they can confront a common threat. Today is another example of the strong partnership between Burkina Faso and the United States in our common fight against uh, violent extremism in this region. So today we're looking at um, helping these teams develop their skills in fighting against improvised explosive devices to work together as a team and most importantly make their connections with the Burkina popu uh, Faso population for whom they, they serve. And that's, that's, our, that's why we're working together as part of this long-term engagement between Burkina Faso and the United States against a common threat. In prelude of the 8th National Youth Forum that will take place on August at Bobojulaso, many young people from the western part of Burkina Faso gathered at Dedugu from July the 11th to the 12th 2019. This gathering is meant to allow young people from the western regions to identify and review their challenges and then to formulate recommendation and resolution for their full participation in the development process. Christine drilling wells in the heart of talks. A strategic workshop on Christine drilling wells was held in order to think about ways to rehabilitate this very important cleaning water infrastructure built since 1971 in the province of Udalan. Christine drilling is an area of convergence and concentration of livestock in the subregion. The project encounters many difficulties due to insecurity. In order to save this project, the management committee and its partners met at Dori for a workshop. The purpose is to find out solution in order to save this clean water facility. The informal sectors contribute as well to the consolidation of the national economy in order to talk about the strategies for a greater formalization of the informal economic units and to establish a framework for an inclusive dialogue to resolve the problems encountered by the informal sector stakeholders. A third edition of the National Forum of the informal economy will be organized. The ministry in charge of youth and employment conveyed the press to talk about this third edition of the National Forum of the Informal Economy that will take place from July the 18th to the 20th. The punchlines of this forum was presented to journalists during a press conference. 
For the third consecutive time, Burkina Faso organized the economic and commercial promotion days in the West African sub-region after Abidjan and Cotonou. This year, the actors of the economic sectors with the support of the government, the Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and their partners exposed the knowledge in Senegal, agri-food products. Textile made in Burkina Faso artifact arts were exposed in a fair at Dakar. The official ceremony took place last Tuesday at the International Trade Center of Senegal under the theme Strengthening Economic and Trade Relationship Between Burkina Faso and Senegal. This trade framework is as well an opportunity to sell products, share experience, and build trust and partnership between Senegal and Burkina Faso. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Edla is over, but before leaving, let me share with you this proverb. A friend in need is a friend indeed. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Meaning that someone who helps you when you are in trouble is a real friend. See you and take care.